What's up gamers, Jim here, and let's begin with my version of the Stadia APK 2.36 teardown. Starting off with Stadia Messaging. This feature now has icons that we can see. We now have a Welcome Stadia Messaging icon, as well as a Start a New Conversation icon. Another strong step closer to Stadia Messaging to be launched. Moving on, in my previous APK teardown and a few more before that, we discovered that there will be capture sharing where you can share your screenshots and video captures with whoever you want with a shareable capture link. Well, now there are codes in the APK that suggest you will also be able to download captures as well as being able to share them. There's a string that simply says downloading, which is under the capture section of the codes as well as another string that says change your settings to let Stadia download captures. Moving on, there is a redesigned new feature on its way. It's called social invites. This new feature also comes with two new icons. I looked further into the codes and I found out what this new feature is. It's essentially a new redesigned feature of the invite system we already have. So what's new with this one? Well, what's new is that if you invite someone to join Stadia with your unique social invite link, then the first time they purchase Stadia Pro, you will also get one month free of Stadia Pro. This is a great way to encourage the Stadia community to invite others. Perhaps the next time you purchase Stadia Pro, maybe you would like to try to persuade your friend to join and pay for their Stadia Pro and that way you will both have one month of Stadia Pro at the cost of one Stadia Pro subscription. There are also strings regarding this feature that says, get a month of Stadia Pro when a friend signs up with your link and pays for their first month of Pro. Also another string that says, give a month and get a month of Stadia Pro. There is another new icon that is the Cell Tower. This suggests that it's related to Stadia Mobile Gaming using the mobile network such as 4G or 5G. My speculation is that either Stadia is getting ready to remove the experimental feature of Stadia Mobile Gaming or it's just to update the Stadia interface to make it more clear that you are gaming on a mobile network instead of Wi-Fi. This icon will appear in the Stadia menu somewhere as well as a notification. Finally, one last feature and I think some Stadia fans will appreciate and enjoy but first I must give credit to Adam from Stadia Source for finding this code and sharing it with me for all of us to enjoy. The string Adam found says Share purchased games, add-ons and claimed pro games. Your family won't need a pro subscription to play. Some content may not be eligible for sharing. Let's focus on the fact that your family doesn't require Stadia Pro to play your shared games. It also says that we can share our Stadia Pro games. That means you no longer have to purchase multiple Stadia Pro subscriptions for everyone in your family. For example, you can subscribe one person to Stadia Pro and share the Stadia Pro games from that account to the rest of the family. Also, personally, I didn't even know you could share add-ons, so that if that's news to you as well as to me, then that's great. Thank you for watching my video. This is Jem, and I'll see you on the next one.